We're, we're getting blasted with Deion Sanders talk, so why not? This makes for an easy clip. No. This, this makes for easy viewership. Let's get the ratings up. Should uh, Florida State pursue Deion Sanders? No. Should they pursue Deion? She's got a big win. Unranked Texas Tech there. Well, they're now 72 on the season. What? <laughs> come on. Come on. Buddy. Unranked Texas, Texas Tech. Tech. But Florida State and, is until we see season this year. Until we see what Prime is without his son at quarterback and Travis Hunter, I'm still skeptical on that working out there. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll ever happen. And I, I honestly think that bridge is burned. For yeah. some reason, he was so mad at not getting hired last time when he didn't have near the qualifications to get hired. Let's ignore that. But he I, he was so mad at that that he doesn't even consider Florida State home anymore. So I, I need people to start – or I need people to stop asking the question because it, it genu will, genuinely will not happen at this point. Yeah, it's not going to happen. There was a lot of public outcry back then. I think a lot of people – you know, are still miffed about the Travis Hunter thing and whether that's FSU boosters or an FSU administration. I just can't really see that move going down. And I don't know if that's something that Dion would necessarily want at this point with how things uh, went between the two parties in the past. So, you know, it's always fun to bring up, especially, you know, with all of Dion's ties to Tallahassee, but it just doesn't really seem feasible uh, in this current at this current stage. And, and just to just to address that comment, and yes, anyone could do better than what we're seeing right now. Anyone, sure, anyone could do better than what we're seeing right now. But I don't think Dion could get a team to thirteen and zero like we saw Norvell do last season. I still think Norvell can coach. He has just dug himself so deep of a hole this year that it may be impossible for him to climb out of. Mm -hmm. Literally, that's, the, that, that's what I'm feeling. Whenever you watch these games, it's like, man, Norvell has dug and dug and dug and dug so far that he kind of just can't won't be able to get out of this because he won't have the timetable to do so. And you know, everybody's talking about Dion one to come in, you get in and you know, you get all the plethora of all of the recruiting. He can bring in all the recruits and everything like that. It's just, it doesn't make sense. And like you are saying, the, those bridges were burned and there was a pretty, not a, not a great relationship they kind of had beforehand. And then whenever that sort of conversation was happening, when, when Dion was, pursuing Florida State that conversation was had from the admins and there were certain things that Dion needed to complete in those boxes in order to at least even be offered an opportunity to have a true interview to be Florida State's football head coach now you did make a good point that these bridges were were burned long before even Dion tried to be a coach because he was mad with how Florida State handled Bobby Bowden a lot of fans still are it's not just a Dion thing, but I want to say he didn't go back to Tallahassee from the time that Bobby left until Taggart was a coach. Am I correct in saying that? Um, and I think Taggart convinced him to come back for that spring game. I believe so. Yeah, Willie. I think Willie had a good relationship so, in order to. Th there was already some tension with that relationship between Florida State and Dion, and it's only gotten worse since then. So it's not going to happen.